Hi everybody, this is Rita and uh, I have made a very grungy, extra grungy, bird themed journal and I just wanted to show you what I have done. So this is seam binding, I have uh, tied it together with seam binding, that's the closure, it's quite chunky, lots of embellishments, I tried to leave some <laughs> room for for writing in there, but let's see what we have done here. So let's see. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see better. Once I open it up, there is a little bit of a mini journal up here. It says, "I feel like a tiny bird with a big song." And then you open it. There's some pages for journaling, and then there's a flip up, and underneath it there's a mini tuck spot here with a ticket and some cute tags. Then on the other side, we just have a pretty lady and enjoy. And some stamping going on. Then you turn the page, there's another little mini journaling spot right here. And I didn't put anything on there because this is kind of a delicate paper. I didn't want to stack more things on it. So there's a little tag there. Like I said, this is extra grungy. I spent extra time coffee dyeing it. Everything is coffee dyed. Everything is grunged up and inked up to the ninth. This is like a mini side journaling spot right here. Extra grungy. Lots of cheesecloth. Lots of different embellishments. This one has the tags on the top. I'm just kind of a little bit right there. Turn the page. <laughs> There's a little postcard here. I tried to leave some space on it to write. And then on the other side, we have a envelope with some tags. Some more birds on the bottom. Turn the page. This is an envelope and it has some tags on this top, pretty tags, and another one here that you can pull out. On the other side, there's a little tough spot with a tag. Turning the page, this one is a mini envelope. I can just get that out. And I did put a teeny tiny tag in there. So, not sure if I can move it. I think I might have it in there too long. I have to, too, too good. I have to work on that to get that out of there. And on the other side, another tuck spot with a cute bird tag. And then you open this envelope up. There's a tag. And then there's, there are some extra things in the uh, envelope tags that you can actually write on the back of them. So that envelope just closes up. It's kind of a flap there. Moving on to the next page. It's a doily tuck spot with a tag. You can write on the back of it. I didn't put anything on this side, just a mini embellishment because it's parchment paper and it's really delicate. So I just wanted to leave it like that. It's coffee dyed. Next page. This is a big altered paper clip, and I just stuck it on here. You can remove it and then write on this page. I left it blank on both sides. Then the next page, there's a mini pad, paper pad in here. You can write on that and underneath it too. It says laugh more. Next page you can write on it. Like I said, I left some blank spaces. Then another bird tag with some coffee dyed seam binding here, open the page and flap, underneath it more tags, lots of tags in here, then open to the next page, flower, and a mini little book, opens up, you can write in there, it's a doily tuck spot right there. Again, I didn't put anything on this invoice because it's kind of delicate. You can write on it. Then there's a note worthy, <laughs> just no paper to write on. And book page on the other side. And then lastly, there's a little girl 
note word it says so you can know it's your note pad there and then there's a big envelope that holds it all together that's one of the items that's holds it all together so you open it up and there are your booklet in there booklet and then journaling tags and you can just close that back up and then on the back of the journal there is a envelope create your own sunshine and there will be some tags in here i have included some tags on there and that's it thank you so much for watching this will be listed in my ebay store which i have the link to and thank you again visa